हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर एजुकेशन चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कैलकुलेट द सेंट्रॉइड ऑफ द डैम सेक्शन यू रिमेम्बर इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव फाइंड आउट द सेंट्रॉइड ऑफ द टी सेक्शन दिस सिमिलर प्रोसीजर वी विल फॉलो फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द सेंट्रॉइड फॉर दिस डैम सेक्शन सो द प्रॉब्लम इज कैलकुलेट the position of the centroid from the bottom left corner b for a retaining wall as shown in the figure here the dam section is given with dimension height is 5.2 mm bottom side is 3.2 mm and top is 0.8 meter read the problem carefully sometimes the position of centroid will be asked from the top so according to we have to calculate the centroid position of the centroid now in this problem it is from the bottom left corner so our first step is place the figure in the first quadrant so take the dam section in the first quadrant and let ox and oy are the references so here this is x and this is y and this is o so ox oy so we'll calculate x bar and y bar from the origin so have you marked this ox and oy so let us start for second step divide this figure composite figure into a basic figure so there are two figures combination of two figures one is rectangle and second one is triangle so divide into two parts like this see rectangle is one first figure and triangle is second figure now this distance will be 0.8 meter and the remaining distance is 2.4 meter height will be remain same so here first figure is rectangle with dimension 5.2 meter by 0.8 meter and second one is rectangle sorry second one is triangle with height is 5.2 meter and base is new base 2.4 meter now check whether this figure is symmetrical to x or y axis now this dam section is not symmetrical to x and y axis so we have to calculate x1 x2 y1 y2 and then x bar and y bar so the calculate here a1 and a2 so a1 this first part is rectangle and second part is triangle triangle is second okay so a1 is area of rectangle is 5.2 into 0.8 so it is 4.16 meter square now area of triangle is 1/2 b into h so 1/2 base is 2.4 and height is 5.2 will get 6.24 meter square now calculate x1 x2 and y1 y2 so for the first figure we'll calculate x1 that is 
horizontal distance of the centroid of the rectangle from the y axis so if we make this half a point 8 so we'll get point 4 so x1 is point 8 by 2 and that is point 4 from y axis now for the rectangle we will calculate vertical distance of the centroid from the x axis so vertical distance it is 5.2 so y1 is 5.2 upon 2 and that is 2.6 meter from x axis now for this triangle the centroid is at one third b and one third h from this 90 degree corner but we have to calculate x bar from origin that is from y axis so we will add this distance by taking horizontal distance we can directly take one third h because it is start from the x axis so we will calculate y bar directly we cannot add because this base is rested on the x so here x2 for x2 this point 8 plus the centroid of this rectangle from this right corner so it is one third into b so it is point 8 plus one third into 2.4 will get 1.6 meter now calculate y2 y2 means vertical distance so it is rested on the x bar so we can directly take one third h so it is one third into 5.2 so it is 1.73 meter from x axis or base of the triangle so here be careful while calculating x1 y1 x2 y2 because it is a composite figure now by using formula we can calculate x bar and y bar so our x bar formula is a1 x1 plus a2 x2 upon a1 plus a2 so by putting the values we will get a1 is 4.16 into x1 point 0.4 plus 4 point sorry uh, a2 is 6.24 6.24 into x2 is 1.6 upon 4.16 plus 6.24 if you make this in two parts the calculation will be easy there will be no confusion by putting the values so we can easily calculate this x bar and y bar so calculate it 4.16 into 0.4 is equal to plus in bracket 6.24 into 1.6 bracket complete is equal to divided by in bracket 4.16 plus 6.24 bracket complete is equal to will get 1.12 meter with respect to with respect to base of dam base of sorry base of dam base of dam that means horizontal distance now calculate y bar so y bar formula is a1 y1 plus a2 y2 upon a1 plus a2 
so put the values so a1 is 4.16 into y1 is 2.6 plus a2 is 6.24 into y2 is 1.73 upon 4.16 plus 6.24 you can also take addition before calculating x bar and y bar so here total area a equal to a1 plus a2 so you can directly put x bar and y bar so here by calculating we will get 2.08 meter and it is with respect to base of dam base of dam because it is a vertical distance so y bar will be calculated from the base of the dam so here the centroid g that is x bar comma y bar will be at 1.12 meter and 2.08 meter now we can show this centroid in the figure so x bar is 1.12 so take x horizontal distance 1.12 meter so somewhat here now vertical distance is 2.08 so somewhat here so g will be 1.12 meter 2.08 meter so horizontal distance is 1.12 meter and vertical is 2.08 meter so we can show like this centroid in the given composite figure i hope that you have enjoyed this lecture and understood the topic how to calculate the centroid of the dam section thank you for watching this video like share and subscribe our channel for watching the amazing videos of the engineering topics